It's a beautiful warm October day. And I'm here on Sherwood Heath today with one specific species in mind, if we can track it down. I'm after the Minotaur beetle, one of Nottinghamshire's largest invertebrates. three key ingredients a site must have to attract minotaurs a light sandy soil is one rabbit droppings is another and lastly you need a short sword short turf is what you need and if you've got all three you've got a good chance of getting minotaurs. The other thing you need is a bit of patience and a bit of luck that you have to stumble one and one while it's plodding around on the surface. The good thing about these, even I can outrun them. And this is your ideal Minotaur habitat. A short sort of worn footpath with the help of rabbits keeps the grass short. The soil might be a bit more compacted here but just on either side of this little footpath the soil is ideal. So now it's okay, so wandering around and hoping we bump into one. Well, here's the first evidence of minotaur activity. This here is a minotaur burrow. We have a large burrow which goes down quite a distance and off that burrow, off that central sort of shaft. If I remember right, there are numerous chambers. And this time of year, once you get into late September and October, you often get one or two wandering on the surface. And the burrows are quite large, probably about the width of your little finger. And it's about 15 mil. That nothing's been down it recently and but uh, and they're not working on it at the moment but a 15 millimeter burrow in grassland short grassland means one thing you've got minotaurs and here's the kind of activity you're looking for this is recent activity because all the burrows under here and this is all fresh workings. This has either been brought out in the night or yesterday. And the burrow is down there. We'll carry on with our search. Now, ah, how about that? You can always find a flower somewhere every day of the year. We can simply look at any gorse bush really to be honest, even in the depths of winter. But odd flowers will occur even on Christmas Day. In fact there are people that do a Christmas Day list of flowering plants. And this is a harebell. 
beautiful little late flowering heathland plant. Beautiful thing. This is obviously a fresh boro that's in the process of being dug. Well, you've got all the spoil here. Look, this is very fresh stuff because it's not even dried out yet. And then you've got rabbit droppings nearby, ready to be taken down into the, the brood cells. I've seen several sort of burrows. But this is the freshest of the ones I've seen so far. Well, I'll still keep walking. I found a few bits, not to, nothing to mean a great deal, really. But there's still plenty of evidence of Orthoptera around. Orthoptera being grasshoppers and crickets, or the order thereof. In communists, there's still quite a lot of field grasshoppers and there's the odd uh, Rissoles bush cricket knocking around still still singing but on nice sunny days like this in autumn you get well the good of Fodius days the Fodius being dung beetles and it's probably the, the commonest flying insect at the moment this time of year no matter where you look there's always a Fodius flying and if you've got some fresh dung and you want to see a lot of a Fodius beetles plonk some fresh dung somewhere horse manure is brilliant or even cow manure and watch them come in they'll be coming in within seconds and it'll be a constant stream and you'll get hundreds and the commonest here anyway in this part of Nottinghamshire is a Fodius prodromus. But in amongst the Fodius prodromus, there are other little gems. I love dung beetles. I tell you what, it's lovely and warm in this sun. So I thought I'd have a minute. Like most sites in Sherwood, there's going to be some tree removal again this year. They've been over parts of the site with the sprayer to try and control the bracken. If you're in management, you're wasting your time. And you're wasting your money. Your money could be better spent on else other things and elsewhere. By the time you're all long dead, Bracken will still be going strong.
it's always knocked myself and did this as well and others as to how there was a seemingly endless pot of money for spraying and chopping trees down or whatever and yet there was no money available for surveying to see what's on these reserves it's very occasional that surveys are even done how can you conserve species when you don't know what's on a site 2008, when we were asked to do a survey at Shield Forest, did this himself. We asked if they'd got an existing species list. Species list. We were astonished when they said, "No." Nope. I said, "Have you got any records?" "Oh yeah, I've got some records." And we were handed an armful of various papers, photocopies of papers photocopies of photocopies of papers the odd report and that occupied us for a winter sorting out a species list for the Sherwood Forest NNR which is National Nature Reserve if you didn't know it was astounding that he got a National Nature Reserve and there was no species list no one had ever bothered I still question whether anyone's bothered even now. It's the disappointing thing about conservation, it's not what people conceive it to be. People think you're conserving species. The conservation of species is secondary, I can tell you that. The main concern is habitat, and here, on Sherwood Heath, there has to be a percentage of tree cover and scrub cover of the site. I believe it to be 15 or 17 percent. No more, no less. Although, to be honest, it's gradually getting less. We're just concerned about keeping a site as is. They have this ridiculous notion that they can control bracken. You can't control bracken. You can't control birch. Still, they're the ones with the qualifications and knowledge. Yeah, most of them couldn't tell a bat from a badger. And here's a nice sight. This is one of two Arrhenius marmorius that are filmed here a few weeks ago. And to be honest, they've not grown a great deal. I thought they'd be big chunky monkeys by now. But how many people that don't know the spiders would expect there to be a yellow spider? And this is, there's two varieties. There's the normal form of Arrhenius marmorius, which I've yet to show you. <laughs> Not found one this year yet. And there's this one, which is by far the commonest. This is of the variety Pyramid Artus. Corking thing, isn't it? That's some of the best autumn colour I've seen this year so far. On this 
rosemary willow herb a nice splash of colour as a testament to the summer well it's been a nice but albeit fruitless walk around Sherwood Heath today I did find minotaurs I found approximately three and a half unfortunately they were all dead you commonly do find them dead either upside down or just dead I don't know what had happened to the half Presumably the top half that was missing had been devoured by something. So, as we're now into early afternoon, I think it's time to go home for a bit of lunch. Maybe something to wash it down with. I don't know. Life's full of tough decisions, you know. Do I have a pint of lager? Or do I have a baby champ? I've got a few miles to drive home to decide.